Hey guys, so as promised, here is the unboxing of the Expeditions Biking Series X375 Crossbow. It is the first in their lineup of two crossbows, the X375 and the X415. As you can imagine, the 415 is rated for 415 feet per second. This one is rated for uh, 375 feet per second with a 380 grain bolt. Um, so nice little package that they've come out with here. Um, right now, MSRP $599, but on sale now $499. They've got a 30-day quarantine special right now where if you purchase this crossbow through a dealer, they will actually drop ship it from the factory straight to your house. So there's no middle person. There's no weird meetups. You don't have to come to the shop. You don't have to come to you. Um, they will ship it directly to you. It's a nice little thing the Expedition is doing to help out dealers and help out the con consumers as well. Um, so the crossbow, when I first saw this thing come out, um, I saw the picture that everybody saw and all these accessories and all these features. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But does it come with everything? And um, for a little while when they first announced it, I honestly couldn't tell you. But I can now. It includes everything in the picture, sling, all the accessories, all the upgrades um, in that $4.99 package. Uh, right off the bat, the bow weight is 6.7 pounds. Uh, it has a 34 and a half inch to a 37 inch adjustable length because of uh, an AR style buttstock on this that you can obviously adjust to, to fit you. It has a 14 inch dynamic uh, axle to axle or an 18 inch static. And what that means is when you load that bolt, cock that string back, when those limbs compress, you're at 14 inches axle to axle. When it's relaxed, you're at 18 inches. Power stroke is 13.75 inches. Again, 375 feet per second with a 380 grain bolt. Um, throws a couple extra features here. So um, aluminum composite barrel, quick detached quiver kit, anti-dry fire trigger pack, adjustable AR tactical buttstock, AR grip, lightweight compact riser, riser design, exchangeable retention spring, 4x32 scope, caulking rope, three bolt quiver, Three 20 inch carbon bolts, string wax, string stopper, silencer, string, uh, that's a lot of dampening material. Well, let's open it up and see what we got. Uh, so, this bow is actually going to be in the Realtree Edge color option. Uh, it's either that or black. Those are your, your two color options. Uh, so, right here, we got the riser. Um, so all black limbs, all black riser. The big difference between the 375 and the 415 is the riser. On the, the 415, you've got a raw, all machined aluminum riser. It's a lot bulkier. It's, it's a pretty sick looking uh, riser. Um, but right now, the black X375 is what they have available. Um, just looking at it real quick, it's pretty obvious that they put a lot into vibration reduction and silencing this thing. Uh, it has limb savers, rubber string stoppers. It has vibration material on the string stoppers themselves. Um, it also has string silencers built into the strings. A lot of times with crossbows, you've got one of these options. This has runs the whole gambit. Um, string, string stoppers, vibration material, uh, limb savers, everything you can think of, they have on this. So, so it'll be interesting to shoot this thing to see how, actually how loud it is. Um, if everything that they put on this does what it's supposed to do. Uh, so that's that. All right. So we've got your quiver. It looks like a one, two, three bolt quiver. Just a standard quiver, super light, uh, quick detach connection there. Um, just a pretty basic quiver, nothing crazy there. Uh, looks like we got a sling. Yep, so the quick detach clips on the ends. Now for them to throw in a sling is just kind of, to me, goes above and beyond. It's sometimes you can buy a crossbow and they don't even throw in the, the rope. It's like the bare essentials and you've got to buy all the extra accessories if you want them. It, I mean, it's not much and it's not going to win any awards for sure, but just to throw something in that they really honestly didn't have to, the consumer doesn't expect to receive something like this, you know, when they're buying a crossbow package. So the fact that they throw there in there is, is just a testament to the company themselves, um, giving you everything that you could possibly need to get out there and hunt. Uh, so that's just super convenient. Uh, so right here, you've got the barrel, 
with all the so you've got all the AR features on this. So you've got the AR style buttstock that's adjustable, extra three inches of play. Um, I'll confirm that in the review. I'll, I'll I'll play with that and show you how to do all that. Um, AR style foregrip. The grip itself is actually very. My first impressions of it is it's extremely comfortable. If you've ever held a variety of different crossbows, sometimes you just get these hard plastic flat backs. It's, there's nothing to them. There's nothing uh, comfortable about them at all. This is very comfortable to hold. It's also super light. Um, that's it with the, the real tree edge. Uh, really nice color pattern. Um, looks like that all this is will will accept pretty much any AR style equipment. So if you don't like this, I'm sure you can throw an adjustable foregrip on there as well. Or if you have an AR already. Um, you can probably swap out the grips to anything that you'd like. Um, I really like how it feels. I'd probably move this back about an inch or two for the eye relief there. Um, I like how low this sits. Um, it is so much further away from that rail guard. My daughter shoots a Parker um, in pink, of course. But the grip sits almost right under that rail guard, which is right here. Um, and sometimes I'm always like double checking because it, it kind of creeps me out. Uh, I always wonder if she's going to lose a finger or something like that. So the fact that it's nice and low like that and you really have probably a good three or four inches of clearance below that rail guard, which is really nice. Um, it looks like this is adjustable or it pops open. Okay. Yeah. So there's actually a, an Allen wrench right here with two adjustment screws right here so you loosen them up and you can adjust that right there in the field too it's nice that they actually have the tool included there it looks like they also have a broadhead tool here to tighten the broadheads obviously on your bolts so that's a nice little feature as well a lot of ARs have the little yeah so there's a little uh cover here that you can pop open uh, and you know store tools or maybe extra blades or something like that actually in here um it's a nice little feature again I'm gonna assume you could probably pull this grip off, which is another awesome feature. You can't do that with most crossbows. Uh, if you have a different AR style grip that you prefer, like a Magpul or something like that, I'm gonna assume you open this up and that bolt, that AR um, bolt that mounts these is probably gonna be the same thing. Again, I'll, I'll go over that in the review. I'll check that out, see if that is. And uh, I'll see if my Magpul fits that, just, to, just out of curiosity. Um, so yeah, I, I like that it's, customizable to, to your personal feel. You don't have to just deal with what they give you. You can actually customize it to, to how you specifically like it set up. So that's that. Again, very comfortable, very light, real tree edge, picante rail. Uh, so let's see what else we got in here. So pull rope. So yep, three carbon arrows, 20 inch bolts. Super light. I'm going to probably guess that even with this point that they're probably coming in around that 380 grain mark um, that they're rated for. So probably a good target arrow. I'd probably upgrade these to a slightly heavier arrow for hunting. Um, a lot of times you're going to, your, your limbs, you, these bolts are so light on crossbows. Crossbows don't have a very long life uh, because essentially with the amount of power they're putting out and how light these arrows are, you're actually, you're almost essentially dry firing these things um, versus the weight, you know, grain per inch versus a vertical bow is just ridiculously low. That's why they're so fast. Um, I would probably bump these up to, if they're around 380 grains, like, like I would assume the box is going to rate them for, somewhere between 400 to a 475 grain, 450 grains, probably your, your common uh, bolt weight, some guys will go even heavier, 500 grain, something like that. Um, and the 400, 450 grain, you'll probably have your best kinetic energy downrange um, while hunting. So I'll, I'll weigh these out um, and we'll do, uh, in the review, we'll shoot them through the chronograph um, just to see what the speeds are actually putting out there and how heavy these guys really are. Nothing crazy about these bolts. I, like I said, I'd probably upgrade them anyways. They just look like some standard bolts. Um is your stirrup and it looks like the last thing in here is probably gonna be your sight always curious to see what the radicals look like you know 
a lot of crossbows are like, hey, scope included, and then you, you open the scope up and it's, it's junk. It's like the first thing you end up having to replace on them. Um, there are some companies that, uh, that you go out and they're like, oh, it's a red dot scope, and you, you, you look through them and they're, you can barely even make um, differentiate between the different you know, 20, 30, 40 yard pins on them, and at night or during the daylight, forget it, you, you can't even see them. So right off the bat, these look like it's gonna be more like a standard rifle scope. Yep, just a regular crosshair. Nice rifle, crisp, clear. Looks like probably four different uh, levels. So probably a 30, 50, 70, something like that. Um, it does look like it is illuminated. It has a little battery pack here with red and looks like B for blue probably with five different power LED settings. So it, it does look like it's an illuminated scope. Um, so I'll test that out as well in the review video. I'll see how well it does during daylight. And then when it gets closer to uh, dusk, I'll, I'll throw that light on and see if it helps or if it makes things worse. Cause that's, that's also important. You wouldn't want to throw that on and then just all of a sudden blow out the sight and you, you can't see anything. Um, it looks like sometimes those things, they do more harm than good. So that's it, that, that's pretty straightforward. A decent scope right off the bat. It doesn't look like I'd be upgrading this right away um, or even at all, I'd probably just shoot it as is. Um, I'll sight that in. So there's your stirrup. Again, the barrel and the real tree with all the AR features. Looks like it's highly customizable to your personal fit. Um, I, I really like that feature. And I'll get into a little bit more, I'll throw some my own AR equipment on there, see if it is interchangeable. There's the sling, pull rope, three bolts, three bolt quiver, and then the riser. The string looks pretty good. I don't see any serving separation or anything like that. It looks like real quality strings. Um, I don't know who actually builds these ones, but Gas currently builds all the strings for Expedition bows, so I'm gonna go out on a limb and probably say Gas Bowstrings built these, which if you know Gas Bowstrings, they're very reputable, especially for commercial um, string builders, probably the best in the market, arguably. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a nice feature if, if they are, right off the bat to be high quality set of strings. I'm not sure if it's 452X or if it's um, another material but I'll, I'll look into that, I'll find that out too in, in the reviews to see what material they use on this. Um, so that's it, that's all the features there. Again, if you're, you're interested in this bow, um, shoot me a message, go to my website, you can buy it right there, drop ship directly to you for $4.99. Honestly, it's gonna be really hard to beat. Um, eventually that price will probably go up closer to MSRP, uh, but for now $4.99 is going to be the going price for this crossbow. Um, the 415, if you're interested in that, that should be rolling off the, the assembly lines pretty soon here. And those will be about 599 if memory is correct. But I'll let you guys know, I'll also find that out um, for the extra speed, the extra 100 bucks, probably gonna be worth it. Um, but that's it, if you have any questions, shoot me a message and I'll get that review done in the assembly video of how to put this together, how long, it, how difficult it was to get together. Um, and I'll get that out as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.